Okay, it is recording. Alright, hopefully you can see me okay. Um, I'm going to look like I'm dead in this because of the fluorescent light. Anyhow, um, I'm going to verbalize some notes I've taken um, kind of over the couple years anyhow, or a year or so. Um, not only, no, I'm just going to try to highlight the ones that apply to um, Corvette specifically, C4 specifically, even more. Um, you know, some of the stuff just applies to all cars, some of it's specific to certain vehicles, so I'm not going to go into, um, this is a pretty lengthy document, but I'm not going to go into all this stuff. Um, some of it's fairly advanced. Um, let's start out with lean codes. Um, fuel trims. This is where having to scan tools everything. Fuel trims. If you have a vacuum leak, your fuel trim at idle will be bad. It'll be adding fuel like crazy. If you rev the engine up, the higher you go, the better the fuel trims will be. You'll have better fuel trims at high RPM and bad fuel trims at idle with a vacuum leak. Doesn't matter what kind of vehicle or system, that's the way the fuel trim is going to be. Um, if you have a dirty mass airflow sensor or you have low fuel pressure, you'll typically have good or at least better um, fuel trims at idle. And they'll get worse at higher RPM. The higher the load, it'll get worse. Um, great way to spot vacuum leaks and you know lean codes and stuff like that um, with fuel trims. Again, it's knowing what you're looking at. And guess what? You're not doing that without a scan tool. Be able to view fuel trims. But you can, you know, being able to look at those fuel trims, boom, you can make a diagnosis real fast. You know, guesswork. Um, if you do have a scan tool, that information will be great for you. So remember, vacuum leak. Fuel trim, bad at idle, good at high RPM, dirty mass airflow or low fuel pressure, better at idle, bad at high RPM. So they're, they're the opposite of each other. <clears throat> if you're lean and idle only, it's possible to have your purge solenoid stuck on. It's purging. Um, excessive oil burning can cause rich conditions in the fuel trims. Um, here's, a, here's a quick tip. Driving your car, and you don't, you don't have to go 100 miles an hour. All you got to do is wind out first gear. You know, which is still below most legal road speeds, highway speeds anyhow. Good fuel delivery, quick test. Got a scan tool in the car, or if you back probe your O2 and, um, you know, run a voltmeter up in the car. Um, go to wide open throttle, wind up first gear. Your millivolt reading on your O2 should be above 800 millivolts. If it's above 800 millivolts, you probably have good fuel delivery um, from your, your fuel delivery system, injectors. You know, fuel pressure is probably good. Just a quick, easy test. You can do it on test drive. It takes two seconds. Um, some C4s have mass airflows. Um, that's a possibility too. If you got a bad mass airflow, um, that could cause the same thing. The millivolt reading not being over 800. Um, along those lines too, uh, if you have a scan tool, you snap at the wide open throttle on an analog mass airflow. It should be over four volts. Vacuum leaks, um, speed density system, you will have a high idle. Mass airflow system, you will have a low idle. Don't argue with me, that's, that's what they do. I've never really seen them do anything different. I suppose it's possible, but for the most part, you can take that as gospel. Um, IAC motor counts on a GM is typically 20 to 30. Again, typically. Zero means it's shut. Um, Oh, I have this weird worded weirdly. I don't know how they read it. Zero means it's shut in most cases on a MAP engine. On a MAPS airflow engine, IAC counts will increase. Um, note your desired idle and actual idle RPMs. It can give you a clue as to if you have vacuum leak or anything. Um, vacuum leaks, you can use propane, brake clean, carb clean, water, water to find them, listen to water get sucked in, cause the engine to run rough. Others for engine to smooth out or use scan will see the O2s change. Don't forget about vacuum leaks to the brake booster. Those will, those will get you. Cold start vacuum leaks, misfires as well. Manifold gaskets, head gaskets seeping. Um, your freeze frame data, you're only going to have this in a 96. Um, you can ID when, when you know, if you got a, if you got a misfire or a lean code and it only occurs when the engine's cold and it sets the code then, you can use that to help identify that. Fuel trims to a certain extent as well. I've gone over fuel pressure testing. I'm not going to sit here and uh, go over that. 
I think I've gone over fuel injector balance testing as well. Restricted exhaust. O2 should be over 800 millivolts at wide open throttle. Uh, measure your engine vacuum at idle and at you know two to three thousand RPM. Um, you know you should have you know your vacuum shouldn't go to zero at this you know just sitting there and you rev it. It shouldn't go to zero. Same thing with vacuum and idle. If you have a big restriction, you're you're going to see it on a vacuum gauge. There it is. I don't think I'm going to show you that in the car, but you know, plug it into a vacuum source. Make sure it's manifold.